in this video we will learn how to use Trufflehawk to find secrets in Git repositories. So it's all too easy for developers using Git to commit secret data to repository accidentally. It all happens. It happened with me. So deleting these secret files does not help. So because the previous version is stored in the history and it's still accessible. Just imagine your organization with hundreds of developers and hundreds of repositories pushing the code and just imagine the amount of secrets that get pushed accidentally into these repositories. So it will be a very difficult task for organizations to search for data, secret data, and that is where uh, Trufflehawk comes into picture. So Trufflehawk is a simple installable and you can perform different types of searches. Basically, Trufflehawk supports two types of searches. So we will start with the entropy search. That's the first search option. And this is the default mode, so where it searches for high entropy strings. But there is a trick here. Um, when you're using entropy search, most of the results you get are false positives. So let me show you what we are going to do right now. So we have already downloaded our Git repository. Uh, it's called Botnet. So this is a Python program. So what we have is uh, different types of Python files. Uh, you have database, generators, handler. So all these are, are Python files combined to run as a program. And this is the repository which we are going to um, check with Trufflehog. So as of now, in order to find secrets, what you will do, you will open this each and every file with VS Code or any other IDE, and then you'll manually find it. But, but in general scenario, uh, in a working scenario, that doesn't work. So Trufflehog, um, automates this process and Trufflehog is very easy to get integrated with your CI CD pipelines. So um, anything anything you're trying to push, uh, basically it can find out and it will stop the uh, push to the Git repository. So what we're going to do is quickly, we will run the Trufflehog. Minus H is for the help. So you get all your help details here. So there are a lot of optional arguments that you can pass with uh, Trufflehog. So we already have our code, which will be in this folder, root downloads botnet. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to run the first entropy search. Uh, it's a very simple operation. Like uh, you initiate Trufflehog using Trufflehog and then you pass the URL. Here is a small trick, like uh, what we are trying to do is we already have a local copy of the Git repository. But what if you provide a URL uh, as a remote repository, then Trufflehog will clone a temporary local copy and then scan it. So instead of that, we already have a local copy and we are scanning the local copy. So keep that in mind. So downloads and then bot data. So this is an entropy search again what what it is doing is basically it's searching for high entropy strings and this mode has a lot of false positives i'll tell you why so okay now we got everything cleared so do not get confused with all of these texts basically what it's doing is um, if you go here on the top Right. So this is one Python file it checked, which is called security.py. And that's a branch and that's a commit date. So what it uh, did is basically it opened that file. It looked for the high uh, entropy strings. Any combination of random numbers, uh, basically it assumes like it's a password or it's a secret that's getting done. So basically here you can see um, Diffie-Hellman connection. So the, the reason why it's showing this uh, Diffie-Hellman, Diffie-Hellman connection is basically a public parameter for key exchange algorithm, and therefore it's not a secret. However, poorly chosen modulus for this Diffie-Hellman program can result in security vulnerabilities. So finding it is still interesting from a security perspective, but this is considered to be a false positive. 
right so we already completed the first entropy search so entropy search can give us a lot of security insights security perspective but you will find a lot of false positives what is the second type of search we have is something called a regex search in this search mode truffle hawk uses regular expressions that match common password configuration so you can write your own regex for example you want a combination of words and numbers with special characters to be recognized as password you can say write such regular expressions and you can use the regex instead of the default one so previously in the entropy search what it did was something called a heuristic type of scanning so heuristic type of scanning is like it has a pattern it tries to identify that pattern um, there, is, there are no limits, uh, a random combination of um, letters, characters, special characters and numbers. It, it thinks like it's a password. That's the reason you will get a lot of false positives in the entropy search. But uh, to do regex based search, what we do is basically we similarly we initiate the truffle hog and we indicate the regex functionality so we are telling to use regex and we clearly indicate that do not use entropy so entropy will be no and then the git url again as i said previously if you are providing a remote git url truffle hog will download a temporary clone locally and then it will run the search on that so the have our repository local repository which is downloads on botnet so so executing that will result two reasons you you find two reasons here one is it's showing that there's a password in the url so basically this is the password big bad password and this is a server name local and similarly again the password so regex search is more foolproof um, th there are no false positives like what we see in in the entropy search but entropy search also has some uh, valuable insights that we get from the security perspective and truffle hog can be used with combination of both these search functionalities and you can integrate with your uh, cicd pipelines to make um, the push function like uh, from UAT to production or you know you're trying to push the code uh, you have a security configuration that can help you to stay in compliance I hope this video is informative thank you so much for watching it till the end please uh, watch other videos in the channel and till the next video happy learning